All right, welcome back. And as always, it is a pleasure being with you. And uh, quickly, gentlemen, I want us to just move to the next thing because uh, we still have more stories that we have not yet captured. But you uh, story no na imekuwa tamu sana zaidi. But uh, before we went on a break, you were about to give your rejoinder. Yes. I want to say something about interest in, in politics. Mm -hmm. And when someone <coughs> talks to the other, it, it is because they can see these are the people that will be able or enable me to push my interest. Yes. It is so unfortunate that we're not talking about this reality. I am one of the Kenyans that despite the fact that I agree to the principles of one Kenyan alliance, mm. I still do not agree on the BBI. And if you listen very carefully to the NDC or ODM, mm. They are talking so keenly on returning BBI so that Uhuru, who is purportedly too young to retire, can still click back to, 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 to government. I tend to disagree with that, that proposition, and I'm not even ready for that conversation, but I will say confidently, if Barack Obama retired at 53, Uhuru is too old to retire at 61. He should just go home peacefully. <laughs> All right. I will not go there. Yes. <laughs> I will not go there. I will not go there. I refuse to listen to temptations. Now, <laughs> still in the uh, headlines today, on this particular more Monday morning, uh, Deputy President William Ruto and uh, ANC leader Musala uh, Mudavadi uh, have left the country. And of course, they left the country uh, earlier yesterday for a 10 day trip to the US and the UK. And uh, I saw this particular morning a tweet by Governor Mutahi uh, uh, Kahiga who says, Good morning, Hustler Nation. Our, uh, 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 our fifth landed in U.S. A few hours, uh, thanks to God for the safe journey. Have a blessed day ahead. Uh, so uh, we can see their pictures of the, the, the DP. And of course, they have landed uh, already. And the delegates include Governors Nanok, Amvoria and Waiguru, key senators, members of parliament, and policy experts. Uh, during the tour, the DP and Mudavadi will meet officials of the State Department and the Pentagon in the U.S. Of course, a statement released by Ababu Namwamba, who is the head of international relations at uh, 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 the Ruto's uh, presidential campaign secretariat, indicated that the DP would meet the U.S. government's National Security Council advisor. In the hell last day, Ruto Mudavadi leave for 10-day tour of U.S. and, uh, of course, U.K. As I mentioned earlier on, we have uh, the delegation where the DP's wife, Rachel Turkana, Governor Joseph Nanok, his quality counterpart in Turkana, in, 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 in Governor, that is uh, Governor Salim Muvuria, Kirinyaga's uh, Anwai Guru, Nakuru Senator Susan Kihega, uh, Elgeo Marakwet counterpart Kipchung, Kichuma Murkomen, MPs Aidan Duale, Ri, uh, Rigadi Gashagwa, and Ndindi Nyoro. These are some of the people who have accompanied the DP. We have Kimani Chunga also. We have Adi Zohome, among many others. And of course, uh, former uh, Foreign Affairs CS Namwamba and the DP's presidential campaign spokesman Hussein Mohammed are also there. And uh, they organize, uh, in, in regards to this, um, many Kenyans are, have, have given in their voice uh, in regards to that the Kenya Kwanzaa team has to meet officials of America's State Department and Pentagon as well as senior British leaders. In the UK, they will visit the National Counter-Terrorism Center and speak at both the Commonwealth Secretariat and the Royal Institute of International Affairs, that is at Chatham <coughs> House. And of course, we've seen the DP speaking at Chatham House house before and it is there that many proclamations have been uh, made the dp will also engage kenya's diaspora diaspora in america and britain what are some of the expectations we see uh, that will uh, take place during this 10-day visit of the dp Harun. Uh, thank you very much rama so it is uh, as you can all as you all as we know uh, this is the the time that um, the, the political intrigues is towards its climax. So for, I know there are a lot of speculations, but uh, to me, I think the, the, the president, the deputy president, is just uh, opening up uh, 
it is networking in terms of relationship and uh, there is no anything big mm -hmm. yes and of course uh, still we are there's, uh, there are statements that are given that uh, they are going to be talking about governance and economic development in kenya east africa and uh, africa as, uh, at large yes. uh, 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 john your expectations uh, from this 10-day visit so these two things one, before people have said that Ruto will not be a good uh, person to relate to the West, yeah. then now he's going to meet important delegations from those countries, the US and the UK, mm -hmm. who are very close allies to Kenya's development uh, plans. So for me, I already see that he's trying to write off some of the speculations that have been there before, some of the per perceptions that people have held about him and relations with especially the West, and so this is our time that is actually breaking barriers and I expect that it is going to build a lasting relationship for him and of course with the West. It is actually one of the nice things to happen because last year and a few days back we could see that it is not very easy for him to leave the country for any such meetings. But then now it's happening, which is a good indicator that uh, we can build relationships. That's okay. the, the same way the other person can build relationships. All right. And to just twist this kidogo to the politics again, <laughs> these 10 days will be the best days in this political period for Azimio because they are dancing on the floor alone. Because the country. I saw, I saw, I saw yesterday, uh, when Mr. Atwali was saying, when Raila used to be out of the country, uh, the, the so-called East team, the Jaws, could run the Raila's campaigns without any interference. But now Ruto has gone for a 10-day visit that, that everything in Kenya Kwanza has stopped. No, I don't think if that's the case. Uh, this is just uh, uh, an allegation. But I think I think I think I think I truly expected to see his brigade going all over. Campaigning, yeah, I, I think that's what you wanted to see. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. but still, you will be they will be talking there. Okay. Yeah, yes, see, these are high end meetings, they yeah. are going to meet yes. uh, at the Pentagon, mm -hmm. yeah, they're going to meet at Chatham House. Mm -hmm. And you like I say, important declaration and proclamations have been made in those spaces. Mm -hmm. So, this is already a good indicator that the next government, whoever forms it, will have the blessings of the world, of the world. because Raila has been there before. Raila will maybe be back there. We don't know when. But Ruto is now there. So we're already having a conversation with the West that everyone really wants to be on board. So mm -hmm. me, I already see a good, a good thing. Mm. And I am liking the progress. You're liking the progress. Whichever mm -hmm. side. Whichever side it is. <laughs> and, 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 and I'm looking at um, this particular conversation, even in, the, uh, um, in terms of in the international perspective. Yeah. Um, are we, how... how progressive is this for Kenya? And of course, in regards to building Kenya's relations with the West. Uh, yes, it is. You see, Kenya as a country, we have a lot to do with the West in terms of business, in terms of uh, economic sponsorship, yeah. a lot of things, education, you can mention across the sectors. This is very important because um, you don't remember, you don't forget Rama West is, uh, is really, we have a working, a good relationship with the West. So uh, Ruta going there to strengthen and make relationship, I think it will be of, 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 our, of our advantage. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, in terms of building relations with the West? Yeah, this is very progressive. I yeah. mean, for me, it is very progressive because like he's just mentioned, mm. Uh, most of our students go to study out there. Uh, most of our progressive minds also go there to just uh, get innovative and to create. Mm -hmm. But then most importantly, again, to grow our sectors in this country, we, we rely mostly on partnerships, private uh, public partnerships. We rely mostly on foreign investment. Mm -hmm. And so when we have the goodwill in the government, mm -hmm. it's very easy to even attract and to bring in mm -hmm. such, such vices. So I tend to agree where that it is building a very good base for international relations, especially the country, and, and the country is going to win big. Right. In, in, in other spaces, I would say confidently that it is also time that as, as a country, we, we start to find ways of uh, intensifying 
mm. production in the country, yeah. intensifying progress internally. Mm. So we do not have to always rely on the goodwill of the West mm -hmm. to invest here. But then I think just to analyze what is happening in the political sphere, mm. this is a good goal. All right. Mm -hmm. right. And, and, and of course today also, and let's just quickly touch on other stories that are still making headlines today. Uh huh. My goodness. Uh huh. My phone has in, in my hand. I cannot see it. Uh, help me with your paper. Okay. Help me with that. I'll just just okay, okay. bring the paper. Okay. Okay. There is a story on education, yeah. uh, relief for students on education, and of course this is a story that uh, I was really much in, very much interested in yeah. because uh, our candidates are uh, going to sit for the exams. They're starting next week. Yeah, and uh, it's, it, it's, it, it is something we need to. Talk about. Which one need to talk about? Huh? So yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, where is that? Where is that? Found it. That is rich. Six. <coughs> yes. yes. But, yeah. Relief for candidates as teachers call off strike. And uh, the uh, Kenya Union of Post Primary Edu Education Teachers yesterday called off a planned national strike ahead of the uh, KCSE uh, 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 examination week, which kicks uh, kicks off next week. Of course, uh, you can see there on your page an image of uh, students there. Of course, uh, the Union Secretary General Akelo Misori said they had called off the strike to enable the examination proceed smoothly. He, however, asked the teachers, uh, he, asked, he asked the government to guarantee security of teachers during the supervision of the exams. And the union has, at the same time, called on the governments to give uh, uh, teachers the necessary support in terms of ad adequate protection in bandit prone areas. And of course, addressing the President Kisumu at the weekend, Missouri said that uh, it was up to the government to beef up security to address fears raised by some uh, teachers who had been uh, tasked to invigilate the examination in conflict prone counties. The TSC had written to the union's officials warning that the planned strike would disrupt the national examinations. But now it is a relief for candidates as the teachers have called off the strike. You can see there pictured on your screen the education CS Professor George Magoha when he commissioned new CBC classrooms at the Kasarani Secondary School, uh, Kasarini Secondary School in Kiambu County on uh, Saturday. And of course, the, we have the, the, the coupette that uh, wants the TSC to revise the 2021-2025 CBA with a, with a view of affecting a 30 to 70% salary increment. Of course, there is a reinsurance demand here. Education CS Magoa while yesterday are reassuring candidates that all measures have been taken to ensure the exam is free <coughs> of any instances of cheating and that the results will be fair. What do you think about that, Joe? Your view? Uh, I, in the first place, yes. I don't know why teachers always almost call for a strike towards a national examination. Security? Uh, this is not about security. If you read further, you mm. realize that it is about the collective bargain agreement that was signed in 2021. Ye yes, we, we, we have the issue of some pro some areas that yeah. have an issue of banditry yeah, sure. and teachers fear for their lives. And of course, the CBA is uh, also uh, in the conversation. Yeah, but you're questioning why now? Yeah, exactly. Why now? I is it because they do not want to give the students an ample time? Uh -huh. Or is it the right time to strike a deal? And you see, when such thing happens, when you strike a deal at such a time, then the government is also likely to commit to things they know very well they are not able to deliver on, and it is also risky for the future. Mm -hmm. Because if these teachers have been teaching in such environments all through, and it is only during exams that they feel that they, it is insecure, yeah. and you feel we need to do something about it, I think that is not uh, sustainable. Mm -hmm. I think we need to have this conversation honestly, and I don't at times like the attitude that TSC brings on the table when negotiating with the teachers' unions. I think it's time they need to turn down. Mm -hmm. Let us have this conversation and solve this problem once and for all. Okay. We need our teachers to be safe, for them to deliver proper education to our children. And mm -hmm. we also need our children to be guaranteed that they will be safe even in the schools. It is very sad to see that a, a school bus is attacked and student, students are affected. It is yeah. so sad. Yeah. So security yeah. needs to be guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So like the teachers are pushing for that 
I feel that it shouldn't be an instantaneous uh, conversation. They only speak now because it is an opportune time for them to be at. Mm -hmm. Let them have this conversation continuously, even after these exams. So we do not have a recurrence of it to us. Okay. <coughs> okay. 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 So uh, to me, I think uh, the teachers are, are right. As you, you all know, that uh, going on strike is, is one of the way that you are forcefully communicating to be heard. Okay? So now, as you are, you, are, you, you, you are demonstrating for you to be heard, then you must always take advantage of stations that matters. So to teachers, they know that if they are not going to strike, when handling um, an urgent matter that needs to be addressed, then they will never be heard. That's why you can see them coming. My colleague is asking, why, why now mm. are they bringing these demands? They are bringing these demands simply because they need to be heard but and, and be heard urgently. But see, these demands, I yes. would like also to state, it is not coming, it is not something that is happening now. Yes. It is some a conversation that started a very, very long, long time. time ago. Yes. Do you know why? You see, there is no way you can keep on calling for 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 your right, for your demand, and it is like the government is giving them a def yeah. So they have no option because they have been they have they have been promised over and over again, but it becomes uh, a very hard task for this to be implemented. For instance, the CBA that we are talking about, when was it made? It is some time way back, okay? But still, the government has no interest implementing the CBA, but, okay? But still, I'm looking at also the, 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 the students yes. and, and, and the kids. You can, you, you can have that, that yes. back. Mm. The students and the kids. So, yes. Um, the, yes, they are going to do the, the Exam. examinations. Yes. And uh, I was really concerned about the, how this might affect the KCSE. And the CS also gave in his voice, and he was saying we should not play around with yes, yes. And he was saying that these children are not chess. They are, it's, it's not a game of chess, and we should be very careful. And he has prepared to call off that that strike. You know, I'm, I'm looking at the preparedness. Are our children prepared? Are they ready? Um, will such things affect the examinations in the long run, or do we expect to see? A different turn of events between now and next week so that by the time the exams are starting we see something else happening and the exams are affected no, no, to, to, to me uh, I, uh, I, I think uh, I don't think if they are really fully prepared okay like now for instance the case of uh, the banditry yes. in, in Baringo mm -hmm. so you, we saw students mis displaced uh, some of them were killed, and that, that, that uh, psychologically it is not putting them in a good place to to be sober for this uh, exam. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Uh, so now I, I think I feel for the students of today because you remember very well that it is only in, in the last two months that there's been more more strikes in this country in schools than has ever been in the history of the country. Mm -hmm. So already uh, education was affected adversely during that period. And then again, these are children... Two, two months or two years? Two months. Two months. I mean strikes that were... Yes. Oh, the, the strikes of, of, of last... Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So those are just happened. Schools were closed, most schools, and even forced that the schools nationwide were closed because of uh, the situations. Yes. And these children are back. Within a very short time, I think two months, they are supposed to sit their exams. And then again, you threaten to have a strike that is throwing them off balance, it is offsetting them. And remember, there's, and a, there's, there's another exam that is coming up in yeah. November. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think uh, our children have such mental powers to withstand such distress. Yeah. So it is going to affect the results of these year's exams, mm. and it is very unfortunate that the ministry thinks when there is not many good grades, that then the exams were credible. Mm. Students will fail, and we think those were the best exams. Yet, it is just because there was a distress. So I, uh, I, I don't like 
situation. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Rama, you see, most of the things that uh, that happens uh, in the, within the education sector, uh, the government can largely be blamed. Uh, the reason, reason why you can see this country, I don't think there is equality in in education sector. That is how I see. According to me, that's my own opinion. Mm -hmm. We don't have equality in the education sector. And so and I'm really urging mean, the government. What do you mean when you say equality? Equality between what and what? Yeah, 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 like now, for instance, yeah. if, you, if you are to visit some parts of this country, you realize that the pupils or the students are studying under the tree. No classrooms, no in good infrastructure. Well, you're talking about uh, in terms of resources. Yes, it's in terms of resources, resources yes. Okay. So, so, so now, you expect such a student to compete with a student in a large school. So that's why I'm saying there is no equality in terms of resources. So this is unfair. So the, really the government, it is the highest time that the government should step in and, and harmonize the whole resource issue mm -hmm. across the country. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. it is uh, very unfortunate. And um, I, I, I would like to talk also you to talk to your people. Yes, because now uh, your people in your ward, they, those families have children, yes. and they have uh, 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 you know uh, to, they, they must hear what their leaders are saying. Uh, what what did you give them, uh, uh, people from Viruta, people from Lindi, in regards to this national examination that we are expected to see come next? Year? <coughs> uh, it's still on your own. On uh, what we normally tell them. No, what, mm. what, what piece of work Come again? To, to speak to your people in regards to the exam that is coming up next week? Okay, now, now I just urge the people that let them pre give their children, their, their pupils a good time, prepare them psychologically, let them be encouraged, and the future will be bright. All right. Yes, they should. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, let me, let me say this to a parent who is listening here. And I say this so passionately because I know how my education journey has been. Uh, one of the things is parents tend to think when students don't score very high marks, and especially in primary school and maybe again in secondary, then they are not this time for greatness. So I am asking parents to accommodate their students now, give them necessary support, and also give them inspiration that it can be done whichever way. So go into exams, not tensed of the results, and whatever results will become of you, we will build from there. That way, children will be confident towards these exams, and maybe after the exams, then they will be able to shape a path towards their future. All right. Yes. Just gentlemen, um, I, I, I want us to bring this conversation to a close, and I want to thank you so much for coming. Would you like to give your voice on Russia and Ukraine? <laughs> if, I, if I did that, I would maybe say, Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Stop discriminating against the black. If you wow. are allowing Ukrainians to leave their country, allow foreigners who are black to leave your country. That has to be trending today. Yes. Uh, black Lives Matter. Let's yes. end EU racism. Mm. EU racism must be called out. It should be... I think it is serious, eh? but to me, I would be specifically, uh, let, let Kenyans be safe first. As, as Americans say, American first. Mm. Yes. We should save our, people. Save our people first. Okay. Yes. These are matters that are trending today. <laughs> every life matters. <laughs> but still, every life matters. Yes. Not just black lives. No, I every mean, every life. life. Very specific of black lives. <laughs> history. history says we see the black have suffered the more in terms of war. When we had war in the First World War and Second World War, it is the blacks, the sons of this soil, that were used in the military war battlefield. We lost many lives. <laughs> they, they themselves were doing business, and that is how USA <laughs> rose to be a superpower. Yes. Because it was taking advantage of war and doing business. Africans were being recruited as soldiers, and that is why we lost more lives from Africa. And of course, today we will not talk about that, maybe in another day. Yeah. <laughs> 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 because today, also turning today, is Russia forces advance in uh, all directions as Kiev accepts talks. 
These are just some of the issues that are trending today on this particular Monday morning. We've been taking a look at the stories, making headlines right here on Why in the Morning. And I would like to thank uh, Harun Kipagat. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much. Uh, he's vying for uh, MCA seat at uh, Riruta. I wish you the best. And now thank you very much. With, uh, uh, John uh, uh, Muisi, who is uh, vying for a uh, seat at uh, Lindy Ward. Keep that constituency. Yes, yes. <laughs> Guys. I appreciate it. Thank, thank, you, you, very, so much. thank you very much. Thank you very much. And maybe a last one, if you allow me. Yes, no problem. To the people of Lindy, together, <laughs> and I mean together, me and them, yeah. we are delivering the Lindy dream. Um, <laughs> Let us take it away. Okay. Thank you very much. And of course, that brings us to the end of this morning conversation right here on, uh, on, on youth and politics. But we still have more coming up your way in a bit right here on why in the morning because coming up also a bit later on is a conversation that uh, we shall be having right here with uh, Sankara Kaesu. He shall be coming up in a bit and uh, of course we've made a post there on our social media platform and we're asking well, how long for how long should you be uh, quiet or silent with your partner? For how long? Head over to the Facebook page and drop in your comment on the comment section below that particular post that you've made today. And we're asking, what wana fuck when you're for how long what you sana? You decide. This is one in the morning. My name is Ram Maluko. A big thanks to you. Thanks so much for tuning in. Stick around for more right here on Why in the Morning.